Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. I've just loaded up all of my eggs, everything that we have, 20,209 litres, and the price for eggs currently is very good at both the bakery and the farm shop. The bakery is slightly better, but they don't take everything, they have an allowance, so we'll just sell what we can here. Not too sure how much it's going to be. Unless they remove that, maybe you can sell everything here. Nope, that seems to be it. Uh, not bad though, £18,589. We're going to go over to the farm shop and sell the rest. And I'm really trying to save up for a drill, but I don't think we're going to achieve it today. Because, uh, well, the sort of drill which we're looking for is over £100,000. I've just got my John Deere tractor to head back to the farm. We were doing the cultivating with that in the previous episode. So here we are, let's get this final figure for the rest of these brilliant eggs. You might say they're excellent, although that joke is getting pretty old. <laughs> That's been used so many times. Right. Uh, yes, we did have one in the back of the pickup truck, but that one has already sold. Not bad though. Quite a bit of money. And you. Wow. So we're up at £71,349. That is uh, very decent. It does cause a bit of an issue because we do have just fill number 12 that needs to be drilled today before we move on to May. Um, but the plant which, well, the drill which we have is uh, still not very big. So I could, I could plant it. I, I could put in, I was going to do oats, but I could possibly just continue with the idea of doing sunflowers in both the fields um, if it's not too late. And um, yeah, because we're going to be buying a new field, hopefully. And the field which we buy will hopefully have the grain in it for the chickens to eat. I will probably make it back to the farm before the tractor. We also have those two trees to process. They're going to be taken over to the sawmill and we're going to turn them into planks and then turn them into furniture from the planks. So we do make quite a bit of money out of it. And there are two trees that I had to cut down to build the new shed. But yes, we actually do make probably several thousand pounds. Just with that, probably more than that. Maybe over 10,000 pounds just from clearing a bit of space. Okay, so there we go. The tractor is not here yet. It's on the way. Yeah, so I either use the small drill, I could probably do that field in 15, 20 minutes, possibly, um, or I just plant it. So let's just take a look at the calendar. Yes, it's not too late to do sunflowers. So I could just use the planter, which is much bigger. And for that, I need the John Deere tractor. Where is it gone? Oh, crikey, it's not even moving. I probably had a message pop up. Okay, well, take it back myself. Now, because we're going to be requiring a sunflower header, and I still need to get a new combine, I think probably, uh, well, I really want to buy the Trion. It's exactly what I need to buy. Um, but we also need the money for a new piece of land, so... Well, we do still have, I think, at least five collectibles to get. So I think I'll probably fund either the land or the combine with the collectibles, and then we can save up for the other thing. That'd be the best idea. We won't find any collectibles today, mainly because I don't know where they are. I need to recheck the comments from about, uh, what would it be, seven, seven or eight episodes ago? Anyway, let's just top this up. We don't need any more fertilizer, but we do need the seed bag was uh, almost empty anyway. I have one more bag just around the corner. And yes, whichever field we buy, it needs to have a cereal crop in it. And then I'm planning on uh, planting grass in the same field. Because then we can use the grass for the cows and for the sheep. It is required. I do need plenty of hay. Oh, and that reminds me, I need to give the sheep water. 
We've got over 10,000 litres of milk. It's good news. Only from 12 cows as well. 12 cows that we bought young when they weren't producing milk. I do need to buy more. I don't know if I really don't know if I should buy the young ones again at 200 pounds. If we should spend a bit more and get some more mature cows. Um, obviously, that's, yeah, that is going to be substantially more expensive. I think I probably should just buy them at 200 pounds. It does mean feeding cows though, which aren't bringing any money. Short term. Anyway, yeah, let's just get this done. The last bit of planting for this side of summer. To deal with that patch there after harvest. Yes, I really wouldn't have fancied using the small drill. It's certainly possible and it's not a very big field. But I do want to get on with other stuff. We've done plenty of drilling in the past, so yes, of course. This field also is not very level. It's very uneven. I have to come back to that. Let's go in a different direction. Okay, just get things wrapped up here. Then we'll get back to the farm, we'll rest, and we can continue doing things in May. This will have uh, germinated by May. And in fact, the other sunflower field will need to have its second application. So I'll just get this taken off. We need to, oh no, sorry. <laughs> Let's uh, probably unfold it first of all, it's a good idea. Get it put on the back, and I will see you over at the yard. And oh yeah, the olive factory, the olive oil factory here. Very happy with it, I think, although it's not in maybe the perfect position, it's certainly good enough, and it's just good that it's not taking up any of our usable land for farming. Just give the sheep some water. I will do the greenhouses as well, but not before we rest, because they do have enough water as far as I'm aware. Uh, we might as well just let them use a bit more, and then fill them to the top. So, yeah, there's my tanker just over there. Of course, the lorry is not here. Lots of lettuce, too. Looking at the chicken's trough, I think they do have enough food. Uh, yeah, they're only done yesterday or today. But I know for a fact that the sheep have not a single drop of water. Completely empty. I'm very sorry, sheep. Thing is, they don't take much. So you can't really put loads into their trough. No. Oh, no, I missed it. Oh. I did try and find a mod. I did find um, an anti-collision camera mod, but it wasn't on ModHub. But I'm thinking I probably will install it just because it's so good. I do really dislike the way it zooms in. Anyway, let's rest. Looks like a nice day. A few expenses there, but that's all expected. Potatoes looking good. Very good. Of course, we don't have to irrigate the potatoes. Potatoes require so much water, but they just seem to grow perfectly without any kind of attention except for fertilizer and weeding. Ooh, very good. I should probably move some of these pallets. They are a bit in the spawn area. So yeah, we have those trees. Let's get those trees moved, get them processed. More furniture will have been created, but not enough to sell. And yes, as for the productions, we're looking at the uh, lettuce. Water is not bad, it, they've still got quite a bit, but I think I will just top them up. 
since we have the tanker here ready. Yes, we will have to start moving some of these lettuce pallets. We have produced quite a few. We may have enough water in the tanker. I'll just fill up this one first because it requires less. See what we get left with. Okay, 44%. And as for this one, I wouldn't expect it to take all of it, but probably most of it. Let's say 12% left in the tanker. Ah, oh, 16. <laughs> Pretty close. I'm always close, but never dead on. There we go then. So, yeah, we're, we're now available to do stuff. Different stuff. Those trees are going to start to annoy me though, so I think the best thing to do is to get the forestry trailer on the lorry, get them shifted. I am very much passing time because we do need to get the potatoes harvested. I look forward to doing that. Although the potato harvest is later in the year. We do have the uh, olives and the grapes as well. They need to be pruned. Just like this needs to be pruned. I think I'm just going to do this really quickly off camera because I've already done loads of pruning. And um, when I did that, well, I did two time lapses of pruning trees and <laughs> I had quite a number of comments saying it made people feel ill. So, yes, yeah, so I don't think I'll repeat that. I agree though, I, I think that if you do time lapse doing the trees like by hand, when it's going like this all the time, it does make you feel a bit disorientated. You can actually tell the difference between this piece here and this piece here. It's because if you cut it here, all of this will disappear in one go. Makes it very easy to manage. So you don't have to mess around with lots and lots of little pieces. Because that would be uh, quite painful. We just want to get this thing shifted. Already looking quite good. Right, and into the lorry. We do have both of them. In the past when I tried to carry two, they've gone a bit crazy. But these seem to have uh, pruned a bit better than normal. They don't seem as big. They don't seem as wide. So... Hopefully, as long as we don't have to go any low bridges, which I don't think we do, uh, we'll be fine. In fact, we could go right and then go up the outside of the mountain, which is much easier. Take them to the sawmill, get them processed, and then long term we'll make thousands of pounds out of them. Yeah, we'll be okay going this way. I'm not sure how much wood we currently have in here, actually. There's a yellow car. The yellow car doesn't like me. I think that's the piece of wood that was on the road. It seems that whenever I drop something, it always seems to only upset the yellow car. <laughs> right, let's take a look and see how much we have before we sell, or before we process. We have 33,000 liters. Well, I don't think we're gonna fill it, but it should still be quite good. There we go. 38,000 litres. So yeah, there doesn't seem to be much wood in them. The uh, planks are automatically distributing to the carpentry as and when they need it. But the thing is, we've already got quite a few pallets out here, so... Yep. I'm just going to um, keep sliding these out so that if I'm not here, they can keep spawning. And there we go. We load them up with the forklift, although <laughs> did have a few issues last time. They kept catapulting. So, um, yeah, there we go. That's the, the field much neater. We'll keep this here for now. Get back to my brand new yard. It is very nice. I, I do like this shed. By Lanty Boy. It's coming on Mod Hub fairly soon. I don't know when Giants are going to release it, but it is there waiting as far as I'm aware. So, just a matter of time. And yeah, we've got plenty of space here. I'm thinking we're going to put the potatoes into there, so... It's not really a cold store, but it's still going to be a great place to keep them if the price is bad, which I think it will be. We'll be uh, obviously uh, harvesting at the correct time, and the price at the time of harvesting tends to be bad. So, what next? I think the best thing to do is to prune the grapes and then fertilise all these fields. We probably can also do for number 12 by now. I bet it's also 
germinated. It has. So yeah, in that case, we need to prune and we need to then fertilize all of our fields. These look good. And if I'm not mistaken, when the fertilizing is done, that is all the fertilizing done, with the exception of the olives and the grapes. So I have uh, swapped over. The Landini tractor is now over in the olive grove, and this one is over here, so we're going to have to use this one to do the pruning, but that's absolutely fine. It's more than capable. In fact, it's, it is even more powerful. We've got it configured to the highest engine horsepower. It's, just, it's called olive, and uh, it's going to be doing great work. Time for a name change. <laughs> no, it's going to have to go over there, although there is still a possibility that we sell one of these two tractors. I just don't know if we need both of them. The Landini might be sold. Possibly. Anyway, I've dropped the stump grinder off and the flail. Unless, of course, the grass has grown quite a bit, in which case we can flail at the same time. Let's just take a look. Uh, no, it has not grown. So we'll take all of this off. We'll put the mulcher on the front. The pruner on the front. Or is it called a pre-pruner? I think somebody mentioned it's actually called a pre-pruner. Need to get the terminology correct. But yeah, we will have to do some cultivation work eventually. Okay, so where have I put the pre-pruner? There it is, lurking. It's quite hard to get over how narrow this tractor actually is. If you look at it compared to the McCormick, that is impressive. Really good for getting between the vines, but I suppose if you were going too fast around the corner, it would be quite easy to flip. Although I don't know, maybe it's got a very low centre of gravity. It doesn't seem easy to flip in the game, and the physics although aren't perfect, are not bad. So there we go, we're pruning another year. I don't know how many years we've got through so far in this series, but it does feel like quite a few. I've pruned many times. Certainly a job which I prefer to do from first person view. It just seems easier. That's one of those jobs where you've got to make things look worse before they look better. So, I'll get everything done, and then we'll be on to the fertilizing. I do usually do third person uh, time lapses though. Has anybody else spotted something a bit spooky in that time lapse? If you've been watching the series, you'll know that I cut down all these trees and mulched away all the stumps, yet a tree has returned. A fully intact tree, all of its stump was completely ground away. The tree itself was turned into planks, it was taken to the sawmill. Yet there it is, looking very healthy. Just one tree. Spooky. It's back from the dead. So that is officially a ghost tree. If I go and run into it, I wonder if I bang my head. Guess that would determine if it's an evil ghost or not. Okay, I'm de <laughs> deviating a bit there. Yes, of course. This is not some kind of ghost simulator, this is farming simulator obviously some kind of glitch. Right, so we need to put this back in the shed. Put it over here for now. Let's grab that fertilizer spreader. 
I am just going to go and run over to the tree. I'm sure it is totally solid. I'm sure it's just, for some reason, uh, well, maybe there was something left of it and it's just, for some reason, reappeared, but... Yes, I bet we could cut it down again quite easily. Yep. Yep, so if we wanted to, we can sort of come right through here with the mulcher. It was done on video. So anyway, yeah, that's all done. The vineyard can now be fertilized. In fact, I'm going to fertilize it with the spreader this first time. Because it's not like it's growing at the moment, so I might as well just do it that way. Uh, see if an application has already been registered. No, nothing at all. So when I have done it, we'll take a look. I just need to find a gap big enough, a gap wide enough to get the spreader through. And I think we also do need to go and buy some more fertilizer, but that's no surprise. We've been using quite a bit, and we have plenty to be doing. Yeah, just 10%. But that might be enough to do this field here. Uh, so, this is the biggest gap. I don't know if that would be wide enough to reach the far side. Let's see if I can fit up this one here. I think, yeah, although I probably could do. It's probably pushing it. No, no. We're in. So, that should work. That is applying all the way across. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, well, that is certainly a fast way of doing it. Oh, don't hit the vineyard. Crikey. Don't hit the vines. Make sure it's... Oh, look at that. It's working perfectly. I wouldn't do this, I don't think, when it's actually got grapes on, because it would just not seem right. At the moment, we can quite clearly throw the granular fertilizer through all the vines. It's getting tighter. I could have put the spreader on the fence, unless of course it's actually the spreader which is catching. Not too sure, but yeah, we're almost through. I think it is actually the spreader. Well, next time I could just go up the one next to it, which I believe is wider. There we go. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, as I know the width, I can do this part here. And then we'll have to go over to the store and get some more. That's good. There we go. 1%. Well, can't be wasting it. Still 57 litres. about the right width. Good. Right. So uh, we'll buy probably three or four bags. Yeah, the, the latest in the sale. It's tempting, isn't it? £19,000. Still, I know what I need to buy, so we can't just be buying impetuously. Solid fertiliser. Four bags. It would be good if we had a bulk discount, but... Yeah, four isn't exactly considered bulk. It's a big hopper, we can fit quite a few in here. Looks like three. Oh, three and a bit. 3,200 litres. That'll keep us going for some time. So do this field, then that field, and then we'll finish off in field number 12, which is where we started. But I think really I've probably chosen the right thing to do here. Uh, two sunflowers fields and one potato field. <laughs> Sunflower oil to make some crisps out of the potatoes. Yeah, I don't think there is a potato production though, as far as I'm aware. Could have a crisp factory. We, you actually could with the sunflower oil. Although maybe I'm just saying that because there is one. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I did have a flick through yesterday. Don't think there was anything.
Okay, and there we go. That is everything fertilized. I love this spreader, it's so good. It just, when you see it in the store page, you think, oh, that's not very big, I need to get a bigger one. But actually, no, this is, uh, this seems big enough for everything. Uh, you can see here we have first application on the vineyard, final application on the potatoes and the sunflowers. And over here we have our first application on the olive grove and the final application on these sunflowers. So perfect, looking really good. Let's get back to the farm and we'll buy some cows. We should now be able to see which crops are gonna be in each field this year. Uh, so I might even be able to choose a field which we're gonna buy, something which we can aim towards. Always good to set a goal. So uh, yeah, let's just go over here first of all. The cow barn. Go into here and we need to choose our cow type, which is this one. So you can see age zero. So these are gonna be very cheap. 8,250 pounds for 33 of them. Long term, that would generate a lot of money, but yeah, short term it won't be. So it's now full, 45 cows. Um, but yeah, obviously only 12 of those are actually producing milk currently. But they have produced milk. 12,246 litres. And yeah, because we've bought more cows, it's gonna mean more space for food. Oh, look at all these eggs already. <laughs> They're just spawning like mad. That is fantastic. After the potato harvest, I'm going to plough up this uh, grass. Well, I'm not going to plough it up, we'll just drill it with uh, the next crop. That field there can be extended to here. We will, although it's going to be tricky, we will cut this and use it for hay this year. Uh, so, yeah, let's try and find a suitable field to buy for when we have the money. 34 is a good one. What is currently growing in 34? Hopefully something the chickens can eat. What is that? Oh, potatoes. <laughs> I'm doing potatoes. Uh, it would be good use of the potato harvester to harvest even more, but I don't know how long it's going to take to do our own field. It's a pretty big field. So that's a shame that it's not something like wheat, barley, or oats, or sorghum. So what else do we have? Field number 17. Cotton. Okay, so it's all the fields which I don't need. Ah, 23. Barley could be a possibility. I did have a question yesterday saying why haven't you bought 42? Price. 146,000 pounds. Although, what's it growing? Canola. Yeah, it's not suitable. Is he growing canola? Oh, soybeans. Soybeans. Yes, I don't think the chickens can eat soybeans. No, they'll only take grain. Grain and sorghum. So, yeah, I think uh, 23, we need 100, oh, 120,000, that's 146,000. Yeah, I think 23. We'll most likely go with it when we have the money. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.